just like we said a few weeks ago, when the Chafetz uh, Chaim saw one of his students, Tamit Chacham, he says, you know I'm a Kohen, right? Because of course, Kod Arav, we know the Chafetz Chaim is a Kohen, of course. He goes, you know why I'm a Kohen and you're not a Kohen? He says, because my father's not a Kohen. He goes, yeah, but you know why your father's not a Kohen? My father's a Kohen, you know? He goes, yeah, of course I know, Kod Arav, I know your father's a Kohen. He goes, you know, your father's not a Kohen. So you guys starting to get a little bit of embarrassed. He goes, what, Chafetz Chaim all of a sudden became arrogant? He says, you know, your father's not a coin. He goes, yeah, I know my father. You know why your father's not a coin? He goes, yeah, because my grandfather's not a coin. He goes, yeah, but go all the way to the root. Go all the way to the beginning. Do you know who was the first coin? He goes, yeah, Kvod Arav, it's Aona Kohen. Because you know I'm related to Aona Kohen. You said, and you're not. You're not related to Aona Kohen. My grandfather's Aona Kohen. Your grandfather's not Aona Kohen. He says, he's embarrassed now. He says, hey, okay, I, I understand. For the Rav, we, we learn parasha, we learn. Oh, Hashem, I know I'm not related to Aaron Akron. He goes, but do you know why? I'll tell you why. When Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Mount Sinai after 40 days and 40 nights, and Hashem told him, your nation, your people, they sinned. The Erev Rav sinned. They worshipped an idol. Moshe Rabbeinu couldn't tolerate it. The Ten Commandments, he let them go. They broke. And after that, he immediately took matters into his own hands and he says, Mi le Hashem elai. Whoever's, whoever's for Hashem, come with me. What, come with me for what? Kill the sinners. And Chafetz Chaim says, you know what happened after that? My father came to Moshe Rabbeinu. My grandfather came to Moshe Rabbeinu, said, who do we kill? Kill the sinners. And we started killing people. Why? We're fighting for Hashem. He says, you know why I'm telling you this? Because you can be just like that. You can be like Aaron Cohen. You can be like the Kohanim now. How? Go fight for Hashem. He says, you're going to America. You're going to America, and in America, there's a lot of Rishayim there, he says. He was saying this to his student, Arav Schwab. He says, in America, you're rabbi over there. There's a lot of reshaim over there. Fight for Hashem. Don't become a weak person. Fight for Hashem. If you fight for Hashem, you're going to be like my friend. You're going to be a queen. You don't fight for Hashem, you made the same mistake twice. 